All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to start off by saying Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Call Halal La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, that's Hebrew for bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I'm going to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect that scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. All right. And um, the entitle of this video will be Thou Desireth Truth in the Inward Parts. Thou Desireth Truth in the Inward Parts. All right. And um, this lesson is going to be quick. I was meditating um, and reading uh, the book of Psalms. The 51st chapter, you know, and all us brothers of Great Millstone, you know, we know this chapter because, you know, our apostles and elders push it heavy for for you to get into because, you know, King David, you know, this is his prayer, which was which was a, a prayer to Yahweh Bashim Shai, written as a song. All right. And um, his prayers is our prayers. You know, we desire the Lord to look within our inward parts of a man. You know, forgive us of our iniquities and our sins. And may the Lord, you know, deems us as what? The elect to be saved on this side, you know? And, um, you know, time after time, you got your days where you're ups and your downs. All your days are running balanced. Everything is cool. Copacetic, you know, everything is running cool. But then sometimes it's rocky. You know, and it's all in dealing with the spirit. It's all about the spirit within you, you know. And um, I'm just going to start. It's uh, Psalms 51 and 1. It says, to the chief magician, a psalm of David, when Nathan the prophet came unto him after he had gone in to Bathsheba. All right. It says, have mercy on me, O Yahweh, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, Blot out my transgressions. All right. When you pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, that that is truly an act of faith. You know, you do it in your, like the scriptures tell you. I believe in Matthew the sixth chapter, it tells you how to pray. You know, you pray to the Lord in secret. You know, you go into a four corner. You go into like a closet. You know, you keep your prayers sacred, secret, secret and sacred to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So it says, have mercy upon me, O Yahweh, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. And one thing to pray to the Lord for is to ask the Lord for forgiveness, because all of us in the flesh, all right, we all sinned. We all came back as Gentiles. Now the Lord is waking us up because he wants us back. So now is the time to pray for mercy. Now is the time to pray, pray for the Lord for his tender mercy and loving kindness. Ask him to blot out your sins, man. All right. It says, wash me truly for my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. You know, wash me truly, man. You know, when you dirty, what you do? You go take a shower. You wash every part of your body. You know, you put some, um, some um, peppermint soap. You know, I hope you ain't using um, that bar soap, you know, because, uh, you know, Esau soap has a lot of chemicals. You want to get the natural soap, you know, to wash, basically, man. And when you wash, you're washing yourself to cleanse you. So we're asking the Lord to wash our spirit, you know, to wash us, man. Wash our inward part. It says, wash me truly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions. And my sin is ever before me. And that's one step of repentance is acknowledging your transgressions, man. And only you know your transgressions against the most high, man. All right. It says, for I acknowledge my transgressions. And transgression is, is, uh, is transgressing against the law of the Lord. All right. It says, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only have I sinned. And done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judges. 
All right. Let me read that again. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest, mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. You know, because you can't be a judge if you're full of iniquity, if you're full of sin. So in order to speak clearly and to judge righteously, you have to be purged of your iniquity. You have to be washed throughly by Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. All right, and that leads me to a precept. All right, um, I'm gonna come back here. Let me use the same Bible app. That, that leads me to the precept of Matthew's chapter seven, verse one. It says, "Judge not that ye be not judged, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged, and with what measure ye me ye measure, or ye meet, it shall be measured to you again." All right, because if you're wicked and you're judging, whatever judging you putting upon that person, hey, that judgment is going to be set upon you. All right, because it's a purpose. You have to be, you know, you want the Lord to to cleanse you of your wickedness and for you to escape from your, your evil deeds so that you can judge right. All right, because a lot of people in the world, they'll take the scripture and say, ah, see, you can't judge. Only God could judge. No, the Lord set up men. That can judge you in the flesh. All right. And Yahweh Shai is telling you how you can judge. So it says, verse 2 For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considereth not the beam that is in thy own eye? Exactly. So if you can't tell, you can't tell somebody else to get right if you ain't right. Okay. Why, why behold is uh, the sin that he beholds? What about the sin that you behold? You know, it says, verse four, or how would thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the moat out of thy eye and behold a beam is in thy own eye. Thou hypocrite first cast out the beam out of thy own eye and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eye. All right. And that's just to the point, man. There you go. You don't want to be a hypocrite. So. When you read in King David prayer, you know, it's it's on point, man. It's all it's bad. It's one of the prayers that, you know, the the way to David prayed to the Lord and compromised with the Lord, he gave us the way to comp make a compromise composition with the most high, man. You know, for us being in his truth and doing the works. All right. I'm gonna jump back. This is Psalms 51 and 3. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I have sharpened in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. You know, um, at one point of our time, you know, in our life, when we was born and raised in this world, when we didn't know Yahweh Bashim al we were sharp in iniquity. You know, we was taught to uh, sin you know you was born into sin because why your family taught you to worship pagan holidays man you had no clue that you know it was a sin against the most high and against his son you know worshiping christmas easter you know uh halloween and all those type of days all right eating crab shrimp lobster and pork you didn't know that was transgressing against the laws of the lord so you was and guess what when it comes to those holidays jake know how to do it good man and they know how to do it big when it comes to those days, man, you know, got the, got the food decked out, all that, you know, abominable foods, you know, got the wine, got everything, got, you know, they're taking pictures, people all dressed nice and everything, man. Jake know how to do, do it big, man. All right. So it says, um, behold, I was sharpening iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. It says, behold, thou desireth truth in the inward part and when in the inward parts. And the hidden part, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Okay? Now that inward part is the spirit, man. The spirit that wrestles within the man. Okay? Your conscience, man. It says, behold, thou desires. So what it's telling us what the Lord desires. We now know what the Lord desires. You know? It says, behold, thou desires truth in the inward parts. That's a cut on the wickedness, man. That's a cut on Esau. That's a cut on two-thirds of our people in the world, man. 
If you ain't about truth, hey, you ain't doing what the Lord desire, man. You ain't doing what the Lord delight in, man. If you're not coming in truth in the inward part of you, because that's what start first. And then your actions speak. So it says, and in the hidden part, thou shall make me to know wisdom. Because why? You go through something and then you you go through the, you get the experience. And now you retain wisdom behind the matter. All right. It says, purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou has broken may rejoice. All right. And the real righteous man, if he go off, he's going to feel bad, man. You know, you know, you might profane the Sabbath, you know. And probably forgot or what the case may be You feel bad about it It's in the back of your mind It's in your conscience So you asking the Lord for forgiveness man You know But a wicked man He don't even acknowledge it He don't even care Even when you tell him You know That's the difference And the Lord looks within that man He looks within those men And he sees who's sincere You see So the whole for elect The elect Is sincere brothers the true sincere brothers, man. It says, um, make me to hear joy and gladness. You know, because when you transgress, you feel down, you feel bad. You know? Hey, sometimes you, you probably keeping the law to the T, man. Alright? You might just wake up on the wake up, you know, in the morning and feel some type of way, man. Feel down and shit. You know? Just wanna cry and shit like but nothing is going on, you know, nothing is, you know, you have nothing bothering you, per se, right? But the spirit, it just be weakened, man. You know? You be you be weakened by the spirit. You be depressed. You be bitter at times, man. You could just wake up. What they say in the world, wake up waking up on the wrong side of the bed. It says, make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thou face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Now, two thirds and you guys that's in the Christianity, that black Baptist, Pentecost, Jehovah's wickedness. All right. You in the government churches, you're not crying and praying to the Lord to forgive them for their sins. They believe God died. Well, they believe Well, they do believe Jesus is God. So the Trinity thing, but they believe that Jesus all right. Who you ignorantly call Jesus. That he died for your sins so that you can do whatever you want. That's just craziness, man. It says, hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. All right. So. We need the Lord to create in us a clean heart, man. Because you could wake up mad as hell, man. You could be aggravated. You could be fed up. Yeah, you could be miserable, man. So we need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to create in us a clean mind, man. You can get dirt. Your mind can get tainted. Your mind can get tainted by your environment. The blocks you live on, the people you have to deal with every day, the shit that's before your eyes, the distractions on TV, the entertainment, the folly within uh, uh, pleasures of the flesh. So we need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to create in us a clean heart, man. Every day, it says, create in me a clean heart, O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. So we need the Lord to create a right spirit within us. And he does. Yahweh, all praise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Call halal la Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because he renews a right spirit within us. This is why we're able to keep pushing, brothers. Going out there teaching and loving the work. Doing the work. You know. Brothers that are enduring. You know. Brothers out there that that's, that's uh, on their own, man. By themselves and... Don't got a camp and brothers to lean on, you know, and they out there teaching. That's showing great faith. But we keep pushing every day without thinking about it. 
because the Lord renews our spirit every day. You know, because when you doing this work, you don't really think about it. That's why you got guys that think about it and then they end up, you know, falling short. It's like when you're working out, you know, whenever I'm working out and I'm on, I'm drum running, you know, or I'm doing a set or whatever the case may be. If I start thinking about the last set or the last few minutes I got, then I automatically get tired. But if I keep my eyes and my mind concentrated on not thinking, I, I could feel like I could do more. But as soon as I start thinking about it, oh, I'm down to one minute, got one minute left. What happens? My body starts to get faint. My legs start burning. You know, it's all a mind thing, man. We got so much power through Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in the spirit. You know? Hey, man. When the Lord increases our spirit, we're going to be something else, man. We're going to be something else. It says, create in me a clean heart, O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. So it's always good to meditate, you know, put up those prayers to the Lord for forgiveness, forgive fault against, you know, if you did against any others, man, you know, for, forgive the brothers that ask for forgiveness, that trespass against thee, man, you know, pray for the brothers in the camp, pray for the brothers out there or around the world, pray for our apostles, especially, man. All right. The elders and apostles of Great Millstone, man, you know. Ask the Lord to keep renewing the right spirit within the brothers, man. You know, because that, you don't understand, man. Because your mind can easily, can uh, be tainted, man, and go the wrong way. You know, be thankful for your how about Shimei Awashai, man. I don't want to keep rambling on, but, you know, let's get to the next verse. I just love that verse there because uh, it brings so much life. You know, reading that and it brings so much life, air, you know, refreshing, you know. It says, um, verse 11, cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. All right. Because if the Most High get angry, you know, he cast you away from his presence. That's it. It's like a wicked woman. You get a woman, wicked woman get put out. Done. Finish. You out of the Lord's presence. They ain't dealing with you no more. You know, and we're a woman to the most high. You know, you got this, you got the guy down there, and I think in Orlando. I saw brothers putting it up, doing doing videos on on this guy. He don't even want to say, um, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, you could tell when I saw the brother's video, his response, and when he let him speak, he let the, the demon, he let the guy speak that gave up the spirit. You could tell within the energy that the life in him is just gone. He, uh, yeah, we out here. Just that like, that's that's he gone. He ain't got no spirit no more, man. The Lord hath cast him away from his presence, man. The eyes of the Lord is always upon us, man. And the angels is always around us as a hedge. The Lord deals with us every day. It says, Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Another way of getting cast away from the, the Lord's presence is not being around the brotherhood, man. You around the brotherhood and then you get kicked. The brother Kalab in the camp, he always say, once you get unplugged from Great Millstone, that's it. You're done. You know, that's just this verse. This is a precept to grab behind his saying that he came up with, you know, which is true. It's cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me, man. And the Holy Spirit is the comforter, man. It's the word. OK, the Holy Spirit is not a man. It's the thing that comes with the doctrine of. Of the Lord's truth Of the Lord's word Alright It's a spirit that comes with it It says Verse 12 Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation And uphold me with thy free spirit That's another thing man You want a free spirit That's when you feel good If you don't have a free spirit You bothered man You choked up in the spirit You know You're not really feeling good You sick You know Sick in a bad way but the free spirit is a healthy spirit. It's a it's a healthy, healthy body. It's a healthy spirit. You feel good about doing the work. You get up with brothers, you do the work. Can't wait to the next following Saturday or the next day you go out, go back out, man. You know? It says, verse 13, then will I teach transgressors. Alright, excuse me. Right. Verse 13. 
Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. So David, all right, he's saying to the Lord, look, if you forgive me of my sins and what I've done, I can I can teach the transgressors the uh, the same. I can teach the transgressors from what I did to not do it, man. Because I've been down that route. That's why we have wisdom. Because wisdom, you get wisdom through what? Experience. Brothers be going, all brothers got all different types of experiences, man. Brothers come from different walks of life. Different environments. All right? We all got the same word, but we might have a little different in preferences and things. And, 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 uh, and favor in certain things that we like. Or whatever the case may be. You know, because we all come from a different uh, element, man. We, well, we come from different environments. All right. But we all the same. So it says, um, then will I teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee. So that's a good way, you know. And asking the Lord to say, hey, forgive me for what I've done. Now, I won't do that again. But anyone that I see. That's of that's of potentially elect that I that's a brother. And if I see him falling down this path, I can tell him my examples and hopefully he don't transgress. It says, Deliver me from the blood guiltiness, O Yahweh, thou power of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thou praise. For thou desireth not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings. All right, because Yahweh Shai was that ultimate offering. Okay, so there's no more animal sacrifices, man. All right, it says, verse 17 The sacrifices of Yahweh are of a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O Yahweh, thou will not despise. And that's why, you know, days you wake up and you you just in a broken heart broken spirit you know the lord knows how to keep us balanced and to keep us going you know keep us in this truth walking that narrow walking that straight gate man you know because the lord said this is not our rest and if this is not our rest then we're always going to be troubled somehow some way it says do good in thou good pleasures unto unto zion Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Now it says Zion. Now I don't want to go off course, but remind me I was watching the Matrix. You know, I was watching the Matrix one and I was watching the part two, reloaded and in the beginning. And that whole Matrix is all about us, brothers. I know brothers know that already, but shit, go back and watch it, man. I haven't seen it in a while, so it was it was, it was entertaining to watch again. You know, and see it in years. But the movie Matrix is about us. Neo is supposed to be Yahweh Shai, man. You know, they were saving, they was trying to protect Zion. <laughs> they was protecting Zion, man. Whatever directors made that movie, they they got it from out of the Bible. And they put their little twist on it, you know. But Neo, the one, that's Yahweh Shai. When it talks about the Matrix, this the fake world and then the spirit world is the real world. That movie was spiritual, man. I advise brothers go watch it again. We got Tom. It says, Do good in thou good pleasures unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offerings and whole burnt offer offering. Then shalt thou offer bullocks upon thy altar. All right. So, you know, call her loud, loud. You help Hashem Shai for allowing me to do this lesson. You know, I wasn't going to make it too long. It's only about 24 minutes in. I hope you brothers were edified, you know, food for thought, you know. So, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.